What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee discussion video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Master Trainers in Pokemon Let's Go. We're going to be going over everything that was new inside of the trailer, become a Master Trailer in Pokemon Let's Go, as well as talking about the whole Master Trailer, giving my full thoughts now that I got time to marinate after my first reaction and my thoughts on Master Trainers inside of the Pokemon game. So without no further ado, let's jump right into the trailer and go over everything that is new. So the first thing that is new, obviously, is Master Trainers being introduced. And with them introducing Master Trainers, we kind of see the design for these Master Trainers and what they are. It's just basically looks like Team Magma, to be honest, but a all red version of regular trainers. We see hikers, we see bug catchers, we see ace trainers, bird keepers. We see it all. We see the gamut of all types of trainers inside of this like side by side shot that shows a ton of them in different locations now what is pretty cool is that we could kind of make out some of these locations especially like the first one in the pikachu one it looks like it's going to be very early on in the game inside of viridian city forest if i'm not mistaken i don't believe that there's another deep forest area in the game quite like this and to be honest with pikachu being something that you get early on viridian city forest would be a perfect place to have this master trainer be waiting for you even though from what we've seen in the trailer and from press releases and stuff like that you actually have to complete the game to unlock these master trainers to be appearing in your game around the world now there's a master trainer for each and every pokemon in the game even pre evolution so there's going to be one for magikarp and gyarados one for ghastly one for haunter in gengar in the game so you're going to have to fight a total of 150 master trainers within the game now now, as of right now, it hasn't been revealed if the legendaries are going to have master trainers inside of the game, as well as if Mewtwo is going to have a master trainer inside of the game, which is my biggest question about it, because out of all the master trainers, I would want the Mewtwo and the legendary bird ones to kind of knock off, because to me, that's epic. Having a Mewtwo master trainer name, because when you defeat these master trainers, as you can see here at the tail end of the trailer, when you go into the Pokemon Center, the Nurse Joy will greet you as the V. Venusaur Master Trainer with your name at the end. I think this is pretty cool, especially if there are other NPCs within the game that will call you by that Master Trainer name. It's unclear what do we get when we clear all the Master Trainers, if there is a reward. And I think they may be saving that until the game is completely out and completely finished. And that's going to be kind of tough to do because as we're seeing in this trailer, the Master Trainer Pokemon are level 75. Now we do not know if they're set at level 75 because the trainer does bring in a Pokemon at level 75 as well. So we don't know if that just caters to the level your Pokemon is at. But with this being post game stuff, level 75 doesn't sound too crazy. The crazy part is, is that you have to like have a Ghastly, have a Hunter and have a Gengar at that level or something able to compete at a level 75 Pokemon. And then not only competing with that Pokemon, you can't bring in healing items. Items. You cannot use other Pokemon in that battle and you also have to deal with the fact that they're going to be dealing super effective moves, usually moves that they cannot learn with themselves in the game. Some of these moves should be TM moves that we can learn in the game, but as of right now, I don't believe they even announced TMs. I could be wrong on that. Let me know in the comment section below, but I think that TMs are going to be in the game, especially with them showcasing some exclusive TM moves here. And I believe some of these moves maybe tutor moves and again i could be wrong that would be a unique twist if there's pokemon tutors in this game because again that's something they haven't announced but they're hinting to within this trailer and with this being post game content that would kind of make sense and line up because we usually don't get access to pokemon tutors until the post game anyway or it's far end in the game so that would kind of make sense if we did get pokemon tutors but again only in the post game and this is coming from the official 
Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee website. I'm, I have a link to this in the comment section below, but it says once you become Pokemon League Champion, your journey is far from over. After earning that Covenant title, you will find new special trainers scattered throughout the Kanto region. These are master trainers and each of them is considered the strongest trainer for a Pacific Pokemon. That's right. There's a master trainer for every Pokemon in the Kanto region. Master trainers are always thinking about their favorite Pokemon. So you can spot them. The icon of the Pokemon that they favor is displayed above their heads and the color of their attire is different than any other trainer too. The master trainers will have simple requests for you, but most of them will want to battle. The only catch is that they will only battle against the Pacific species of Pokemon they love. You will need to train up each of your Pokemon to take on these tough challengers because these master trainer battles are a true test of your Pokemon strength. Neither you nor the master trainer will be able to use items during the match. Beat the master trainer in battle to earn their title, proving that you're also a master of their favorite species. These titles you earn can even be displayed in game during link battles so your friends can admire your skills. Show what a devoted trainer you are by challenging all the master trainers. So that's pretty much it as far as new information on master trainers. My thoughts on it in conclusion, I think this is a great way to again to expand on this Pokemon let's go idea of a game and to give post game content. I truly would enjoy more of a post game thing like a post game story and stuff like that. But we are going to have tons of content nonetheless to do post game because we do have to catch ourselves our Mewtwo, complete our Pokedex and now become a master trainer with all 150 Pokemon within the game. That's going to give us a ton of reasons to come back. There's going to be a couple of master trainer titles. I'm going to be trying to get right off the gate like Mewtwo and like Charizard from the Pokemon website. There is stating that some master trainers might require you to do some stuff, probably like a side quest or something like that in order to battle them. My question is that I have is that what are those side quests that are going to entitle one, two, are we going to get a master trainer for Mew? And if we are, is it going to be locked to the fact that we have to get Mew inside of that Pokeball, which is going to suck. I really hope they do a like online distribution or something so we can have access to Mew outside of that Pokeball exclusive thing for players that aren't going to get the Pokeball Plus. Either way, I think this is a cool inclusion to add to the Pokemon games and actually a feature I hope we do see in the future, even though that would kind of be kind of crazy if we had 800 plus Master Trainers in the game and we have to basically do this with 800 Pokemon. 150, it's a lot to do and to think about, but again, with 800, oh my God, I could see people going crazy but this is going to be cool it's going to give us a lot of content that i could produce throughout the year you know trying to level up and defeat these master trainers which is going to be pretty cool to see so if you want to see content like that please leave a like on this video let me know what master trainer that you want me to go after once the game pops and i beat through the main story and get access to these master trainers let me know in the comment section below which master trainer you are most likely going to tackle first and also let me know your whole thoughts on this master trainer idea do you think it's a good idea or do you think this is just a bad idea kind of just to melt the grind out of people to get people to continually play the game just to feel like they're completing something 100% completion of the game now I'm not one of those people I haven't 100% completed Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon and I'm that 100% completion guy I, I even jump into Pokemon Sun and Moon the original base game just so I can do the Pokemon battle tree just to again uh, try to 100% that game collect all the mega evolution stones and the items is the last thing I have to do so I'm just again and repetitively beating the battle tree, earning battle points and stuff like that. But let me know your thoughts on everything that we went over in this video. Peace. I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm gonna be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you wanna be notified on the next time I drop video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.